Hello all, it's been a little bit and I'm out for a night excursion because it's the only time I can get out and do this. It's been too busy. Anyways, um, something that people have pinged me over and um, I kind of wanted to wait and see and that was uh, whether, uh, and I've been seeing this on the forums about whether it is safe to buy an Indian motorcycle. And the question is, you know, about what is meant by safe? Well, rumors on the internet uh, forums, which, um, you know, I can't, it's hard to put stock into those, but that Indian will eventually go the way of victory. So let me break this down a little bit because I don't believe that's going to be the case. And I know people think that I don't like Polaris or I'm against everything they do and I'm just uh, you know a Harley sheep person and uh, uh, that's not the case so but to understand this you need to understand that whether we're talking Victory or Indian it's all Polaris product and let me get turned here make sure nobody's coming So, a lot of times people, they don't quite understand that. And, you know, the, the Indian bikes, the Victory, they all come out of the same factory. They come out of the same place in Iowa. Um, they're, they're both really, it's sort of a, how do you want to say, a brand that's wrapped around the Polaris product that, because um, probably, whoops, I want to give them the rights. Uh, if you're trying to market, um, a high-end cruiser bike or just cruiser bikes in general the name Polaris it's it's great for other products but it's probably not the best thing for that and so hence uh, victory was born and uh, I've covered why I didn't think that's did well in other videos and so have other people it's kind of been beat to death but just covering uh, touching on each one briefly um, advertising the dealer network the design shutting down victory and then launching the indian brand of uh, it, it appears that they've learned and um it's i want to say it's doing well because there's starting to be articles about it that um, are uh, independent news sources and talking about um, how things are um, sales they're going fairly well for its size and frankly uh, you know in the 18 years of victory existence and what the few years Indians have been here I'm seeing the same amount of bikes right now in fact I want to say I probably I, it, the time I see an Indian is very occasional but it's more than more than I've ever seen, seen a victory bike victory was here for 18 years and Indian has only been here for a short period of time, but I'm seeing relatively the same levels of, of bikes out there. So uh, Polaris bikes under the Indian brand, the different design, the different engine, uh, they've climbed up rather quickly um, to where Victory was, and I, it kind of sounds like they've surpassed that. And I got to say with my own eyes, seeing out on the road what's on the road, it feels like I'm kind of seeing that. So um, really quick, uh, let's touch on the advertising. The advertising was is really key. Yeah, letting people know that it is out there, what the product's out there. And whatever they did with Victory, it wasn't very good, didn't work. And um, a lot of people, the thing that's an advantage with the Indian name is everybody in the motorcycling community already knows it, knows it exists. And they know this is a, this is a reboot. So, but there's some, there's some good name recognition. The bikes have gotten good reviews. And some things they've done different. Um, I'm not into the flat track racing at all. Uh, don't even pay any attention to it. But other people do. And you know what? That's really a great way to advertise. It really is. Um, they win races. People have fun. And the bikes get advertised. The name gets advertised, that it exists. The other thing is they have um, this replica of Burt Monroe's bike, or his, um, I, I don't know what you call this thing, he built uh, inside this rocket-like fairing thing. I, I don't follow this, so I'm probably not describing it right. Um, but 
they put that on display and I guess have done some runs down in um, the Bonneville Salt Flats for um, uh, records. And that's, uh, that's great advertising too, it really is. So um, they're doing advertising stuff that, that really works. Um, getting on the design, um, the Victory's modern design didn't bother me, but it appears the masses didn't really embrace it. And so this more, um, I want to say retro Indian design, everybody likes it. And it does look nice, credit where credit's due. And that appears to be another thing, another thing they've solved. Now, the dealer, the dealer issue, um, anybody could be a victory dealer. Not everybody now gets to be an Indian dealer. Now I know there's this and that and reasons and costs and floor space. I'm not going to get into all that. But um, the point being, it seems to be they're pickier. They're not as many Indian dealers, I, I want to say. But it appears what they have, it's working out well that they're being more picky and choosy. And um, that, um, that seems to be serving them well. Uh, an area that I think they could really capitalize on Polaris through Indian they could capitalize on and I don't think they're doing it and it looks like oh I was wondering why I was seeing stuff in the headlight I'm getting rained on well poo I better get turned around here so otherwise I'm gonna get too far out and get um, rained on and of course I gotta be surrounded I'm okay riding in the rain. I just don't want to get out too far. I didn't really dress for it and didn't expect it. So the thing they're not really capitalizing on the service area. So if you've been in, in a long time in other riding communities, like uh, let's just talk about one of my recent videos with Harley Davidson, the service with the dealers is just not very good. And um, Say it, the sale starts the relationship. To me, the service then long term keeps it. So I, I think there's an area here that they Polaris could be capitalizing on. I don't think they are because reading some of the Indian forums, I, I've seen a couple posts about people are asking about the bike wobbling, and so I, I saw this one topic about is there an Indian death wobble, like a Harley death wobble. And uh, of course, then a bunch of arguing goes, starts going back and forth. And the bikes really, most of them, they're not gonna be used and wore out enough to, um, I think, have these kind of issues. And that tells me that the service the bike is getting is probably not very good because um, despite what people wanna believe about motorcycle wobbling, um, cruisers, cruiser bikes, if, if it doesn't take much for something to be out of whack, whether it's air pressure, tire, uh, the steering head bearing, or something in the rear for it, for a cruiser bike to uh, develop a deceleration wobble, a front end wobble, or just something. They're, they're, they're just really susceptible of things aren't, everything just isn't right. So, um, so that tells me if uh, are they already seeing that with Indian model bikes. I want to say whatever dealer they're at, they're not getting serviced well. So, because I don't believe they have a <laughs> designed wobble. Another thing that I've seen commented about, um, about the Indians running too hot. That might be true, but Harley Davidson's prior engine, the twin cam, ran too hot and it didn't stop it from being a success. So I don't think that will stop this engine and bike models from doing well. So is there anything that could make it unsafe for buying an Indian? Um, the only thing that I could think of is if the econ economy crashed severely, I think mostly I think the sales are for it mostly are in the US. And if we had another really bad economic crash, which is the way things I'm seeing kind of burn hot and heavy, it flies high, it then it's got a hard fall. So that's not the only thing I could think of because that doesn't necessarily um, 
I think, stop bike sales, but people look for more used when um, the economy isn't going so well and people are worried about money and finances and don't want to go out on a $20,000 purchase. That's about the only thing I could think of that would upset the plans. So, but in the end, you want, want to buy an Indian motorcycle? I think they're here. They're going to stay. I think it's safe. Um, I doubt it's making much money at the moment, but with the press coverage they're getting that's very positive, um, no major, they're having recalls, any product does, but I haven't seen anything cataclysmic. But, uh, yeah, I just can't think of anything that's that's gonna, gonna upset that apple cart. So, anyways, wanted to get my thoughts out there. Comment, tell me what you think, and uh, have a good night.